Welcome back to Game Does Play Games, the show where we play games to talk Count game design. Hey, oh, we got voice over this time. Godstone almost looks lonely. Oh, more godstones. I don't know why I would have thought that they would stop being a thing, but <laughs> you know, there this is well. This is the first. A lot of gods. This is the first godstone we've come across. Yeah, in, in this game. She's even more beautiful than the songs say. I, I like him. I don't know why I like him. So, okay, we, we were talking about this off camera, um, but I have a theory. So, Na Nathan... Sorry, that was a weird noise. Nathan, <laughs> Nathan presented a, a question to me, and he was like, so do you think that this is basically going to be the Ivor story? Um, and it seems like it could be heading in that direction, right? Like, Rook is probably going to die. But time out, look at that godstone. Well, it's flashing. I think it... But it's a person. It's like, it looks like like a mermaid coming... Oh, our, like, yeah. That's crazy. That is pretty wild. I think we... It wants us to click it. Show enough. Can I drag around? I want to look real quick. But it, but anyway, so Nathan was like, I think it might be Ivor's story. And I, because it seems like Rook is going to die, right? Like, we just have that feeling. It, it, we just it have that It seems feeling. like an inevitability. But my theory is... That the Scald, I, I can't remember his name, um, but the Scald, I think he... Alio. Alio, yeah. yeah. I think what's going to happen, so in Banner Saga 1, Rook starts off as kind of the newbie, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he's fresh to this whole idea. And, like, he's skilled enough to fight, but, like, has to figure out how what what's going on. And Alio's in the same exact place and that he was last time. Exactly. Except for Rook is now broken. Yes, so I think Rook is going to die right when he gets his, like, redemption at the end. <laughs> and... The Scald, Alio, is going to carry on the banner in the next game. I don't know if that if he's important enough to do it, but it's, not, a, it's certainly a possibility. Yeah, he's not important enough yet. But we both agree that we don't think that the true final hero of the story is, is Rook. Although, if it were a let, I would argue that it would be. So it's, it's kind of hard ooh, to see. See what I mean? Ooh, yeah. It's hard. All right, so let's do this. The Godstone. Clansmen and Varl are admiring the Godstone when he notices some are missing. It's Bulwark and 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 his ravens. He says they looked rather upset by my music and all the singing. He shrugs. <laughs> if they'd rather hang around hang around the large cart instead of joining us, I wouldn't take it personally. But come closer. Let me introduce you to Aseli, 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 the god of streaming waters. Uh. Her statue reflects that. She is the uh, she is well. the curves of every river. Ooh, a guide for those <laughs> of us traveling on familiar lands. The skull runs a finger over a small etch in a stone. The inscription from all those who were lost, but found a way back home with her help. Oh, that's mm. awesome. Listen to more of Alio's tales. Search around the stone for anything of value. Pay your respects and leave. Ooh, I wonder if they they're going to keep the tradition of having a useful artifact. At every single godstone. So, I'm tempted to just search around the godstone for anything. You know what? No, let's just listen I, to more I, of his tales. Yeah, I, my instincts actually tell me to listen to him because it's doing the thing that you don't think is going to help you that usually ends up helping you. Yeah, except for straight up leaving. That's not like almost. Yeah, that's true. Never a good option. Okay, pay her. No, uh, listen to more of his tales. All right. Some say her stone shows the struggle of leaving the familiar to see what's over the next hill. Alia looks at the ropes tied around part of her, uh, part of her, and smiles. Before the god died, her stone was supposedly her stone supposedly stood tall and moved away uh, a few steps each year. So people <laughs> are always trying to make sure that she stays put. Alia looks at you, grinning. Have you the strength to hold her or a gift with which to entice her? Pull on one of the stronger ropes. I have no interest in dealing with dead gods. I think we're going to pull on one of the stronger ropes. Mm -hmm. You wrap your hand around one of, her, uh, of the larger ropes and begin to pull. It feels as pointless and expected as Esley's godstone does not budge. Suddenly, you are joined by Hacken and Ivor who <laughs> lend their great strength. Others quickly join until the rope snaps and everyone sprawls into laughter and into a heat. Ah, nice. Realm Brood. <laughs> you return to where the clansmen have set up camp and see someone, someone, a woman in torn robes, slip from your tent. She blends in with the others, uh, the other families, and after making sure nothing is amiss in your tent, you let it go. Weird. Dude, that has to be Irsa. <gasps> you think so? I think she's freaking haunting us, man. Oh, that'd be crazy. Wait, what was Asley that? Asley plus renowned. 
and we got uh, achievement. Number of clansmen and fighters are shown here. If your caravan is assembled in mass in a Assault war situation, uh, it is the fighters that protect the clansmen while your heroes fight a tactical battle. Oh, okay. I kind of like that explanation. It's important to keep enough trained fighters available, but keep in mind that fighters consume more supplies than clansmen and are less effective at foraging. All right, so now they've given each group kind of their own functionality. Speak to Sven in the training tent to start training some of your clansmen into battle-ready fighters. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's really nice, too, because it allows us to kind of, like, balance our numbers a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Well, come on in. Let's have a look at you, Sven the trainer says. The trainer looks past you at some boys and girls eager to learn. Teaching the fighting to is teaching fighting to the young, Sven muses. They won't go back to hunting and foraging for food, you know. Sure you want to go through with this? We need the protection. <laughs> this is what uh Unleaf was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Um also uh it, it's also what uh What's his name? Crazy guy, the Mad Viking. Oh You get um, him in Mad Viking pack. Uh You're talking about Eagle? Yeah, uh not Eagle. Uh not uh, not Eckle either. Wow, he's. Are you talking about the backbiter? Nope, no. Nope. I don't know. Spearman, about... he's crazy. You mean Tri... can't trust uh, Trigby? Thank oh, you. Trigby. Yeah, yeah. Right at the beginning too. He goes. He's, <laughs> oh, he's that's like too right. many fat clansmen. You're like what? And he's like, look at this. This spear. You can make it from a tree. It comes from trees. Let's teach people to stick things. <laughs> he's great. Anyway, sorry. We need the protection. Sun blows out the uh. uh yeah, all of his error through his flapping <laughs> lips. Then let's get her done. How many want fighting for you? Can you train 200? 100 new fighters will do fine. 50 should be enough to give us an edge. Well, okay. We need to make sure that we can balance our resources. So we have a 605 clansmen and, and about 300 fighters. I feel like 200 is pushing our luck. I definitely. And at the same time, 50 might be too little. But I, I also wonder if this is like a difficulty thing. Because remember when you get into warfare, mm. you can choose if you want to go full head into oh, battle. Oh, yeah. And then that, like, it you it would cost you more fighters if you decide so, to play it safe. So it, it would, in theory, make the warfare easier. However, it means that we consume more resources. Yeah. I say we keep it safe and go 100 new fighters will do fine. I, I agree. I, I think that's the very, like neutral response and for once i don't feel like that's gonna bite us in the ass for choosing the like in between answer yeah it probably yeah who knows we got enough food and water to last us a day and a half sven says that's what it'll take for me to break them from, from running at the first sign of trouble <laughs> uh make it happen consider it done sven whistles through his his missing teeth <laughs> <laughs> i like that guy He's pretty awesome. Oh, look at all that morale. We're actually happy again. Plus two willpower at the beginning of battle. I don't even know what to do with all this willpower. Maybe we need to start increasing people's exertion rating. Because in the last Ooh. game, you're like, oh, exertion, not the most important thing in the world. But, like, seriously, there's so much willpower now. Yeah, I agree. Well, especially now that we're getting to the point where a lot of our heroes are getting two abilities. I feel like, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, We can go. Yes. That was a pretty cool godstone. Most of the other godstones were just like, kind of just like tablets. Hmm. Time on the cramped longship is proving too much for the children. They are climbing ropes, interrupting rowers, and constantly leaning over the side to touch the water. Some of the Varong clansmen look annoyed. Remind everyone that this will be over sooner. Say nothing. Keep your kids by your side. We're at war until Abarang. Uh, move families to specific longships. That one just sounds like a heap load of trouble. Yeah, it does. I feel like keep your kids by your side is probably the most appropriate response. Yeah. People are probably going to be upset about it, but... Mm, or we could just lie about it. <laughs> uh, I feel like... I mean, Rook's broken, right? Like, he probably is set that it's never going to end. That he's in this turmoil forever. Yeah, that's fair. I feel so. like he I don't can't think he lie has to the him. patience to... Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, cool. 
Some others give you an irritated glance while a few a, a viral smile in your direction. Regardless, there is no denying the children are safer by their parents' side. Boom. Done. Oh, we didn't lose morale for it. Boom. And this means we chose the right answer. Yeah. A cool breeze across the water works its way into your cloak. You shift to block the wind and feel something press into your hip. You feel around and find an item in, in your pack, but do not remember obtaining Ooh. it. Ooh. So that, Esley's trail. Yeah. What? So, so maybe that was like an avatar of Esley. Well, it did say Esley plus. Uh, it, when we got that achievement, that was okay. So maybe now there's like a delayed godstone. <laughs> that and like maybe maybe you can earn like the favor of the gods. As weird as that might be, that could have been an instance where it was like she was she saw what you did and was like, <laughs> I like you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, so we got a level five item. It says festival beads remind you of the families and traditions at stake. Uh, plus two willpower and plus two strength. Pretty simple. Okay. All right. Uh, I mean, it is a rank five item too. Yeah. Uh, wow, well, everybody has items. Uh, what does... Oh, well. Uh, <sighs> well, we could just keep that in our inventory until we come across a situation in which we need to use fighters that don't have an item. I don't think we need to place it on anyone right away because it's as soon as we place it on someone and we don't have them as an option to use, then it's a wasted item. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I mean, at the same time, we could put that on somebody and then take off like a weaker item. Yeah, it's uh, true. We don't really need. Oh, you guess plus one move. That's pretty good. You know what? I feel like actually, what does I ever have? Plus one to drawing aggro strength. Actually, he uh, probably needs to have the aggro one, honestly. You think so? Actually, no, wait, Eagle. What does Eagle have? No. I feel like, yeah, Boom. I feel like That's Eagle needs want. the aggro. Okay, so this is going to go on you. And then we've cleared up this item, which is plus two armor and rest. That's which actually pretty not, nice. Yeah, but not as good as this thing. True. Kapow. And then finally, uh, no, I actually like him with the plus to move. I think we're good. Cool. Done. Cool. Well, that is all for this episode. No. <laughs> um, but I, I want to ask you about the Godstone, actually. The air, there's something changing? That's ominous. Well, we'll find out what that is in the next Good. episode. I got for sure. for whatever was about to happen. Yeah, no happened. kidding. So we'll let's. We'll find out next episode. So, question of the day. Um, I guess. We, th we've only seen one godstone so far, so mm -hmm. really we have a whole new world to explore with them. Uh, so my question to you guys is, what do you think happened, and do you think that this is going to be, um, I don't know, the new way that we're going to be interacting with godstones? I mean, do you think it would make sense, maybe this is it, do you think it would make sense to even be trying to gain favor of the gods? Where the last game we believed the gods were dead, now it almost seems like they are... They still on... seem to believe they're dead. I'm actually going to take your question okay. and evolve it to the next step. Alright, so a lady was in our tent, right? And then she left and we had no idea what was going on. It said we gained Alessi or something like that. And then somebody put that in our cloak and we found the item. And it's obviously from her. So we did the right thing for her, and we were gifted by the god. All the other godstones in a previous one, when they would give you an item, it was like you were just kind of rummaging around the godstone, and you found the item, and you're like, cool, I found an item, mm -hmm. and then you'd leave. And that was it. This one... It actually seems like divine intervention. Almost. Yes, it does. And so that's, that's I guess, that's going to be my question, or, or evolving to the next question is, are the gods actually dead? What is going on with that? Do you... What do you think about that intervention? Hmm. Like, yeah. Yes. Taking it to the next level. <laughs> cool. Well, be sure to vote for what you want to see in the next playthrough, or if you want us to keep playing Banner Saga 2, which we definitely would love to. Mm. And uh, give this video a thumbs up and a like if you are enjoying this so far, because like every me. bit helps. Yeah. <laughs> and like him. Like me. <laughs> like me. <laughs> We're out. Bye, everybody. <laughs>